Welcome back to another episode. In this episode, we're going to take you to Southwest Texas. I know Craig was a bit stressed about this one as we took a lot of photos and video. Photos and video and GoPro and dash cam. It was a lot to sift through and try to bring you the highlights in five to eight minutes, but we'll do what we can. It was, it was pretty epic scenery, uh, so it was hard to stop taking photos. Stick around and you'll see what we mean. So the journey from Austin to Big Bend National Park in Southwest Texas was gonna be about 500 miles. We decided to split that up with an overnight stay in Seminole Canyon. But before we even hit the road, we had to go back to the food trucks and get ourselves some breakfast burritos. Never a bad idea. And off we went. We arrived in Seminole Canyon in time to go for a bike ride. So we biked along the canyon, which was really unique uh, experience and, and cool trail. We also got our first glimpse at the Rio Grande and some 4,000 year old pictographs. There's two things I liked about those. One was it was the first chance to try out my monocular that I bought off of Amazon. So you can use it to view through just like a pair of binoculars. You can also attach your phone to it and take photos through the lens. So you'll see a shot here of how far away we were across the river and then zoomed in with my with my monocular and got a few cool shots. I didn't even use the tripod for that. The second really cool thing was I can picture this tribe 4,000 years ago saying, hey, what should we paint on this wall? Any ideas? And I can picture the crag of the tribe saying, hey guys, how about we just paint a really big cat? And so one of the big pictures of, the, of that is a panther on the wall. And then here I am 4,000 years later saying, nice job. I appreciate it. The next day we drove through a lot of nothing, but was very unique to us. And we arrived at the campsite, it was super scenic, and we actually went up the hill to watch the sunset. So uh, have a view of uh, some of the video and photographs we took. Let's queue up some tunes. These two stops were also an opportunity to see a lot of critters and plant life that were pretty new to us. We saw our first hare and our first roadrunner, as well as we saw lots of Mexican jays. Big Bend is an area for bird watchers. Tons of people go there for the unique birds and what you can see there. And I actually saw a painted bunting. And uh, one of the people at the outskirts of the uh, parking for the area got so excited when I told them I'd saw it that they had to go back in. I had to describe the location of it. And we also saw a number of cactus, including the Sotol cactus, which indigenous people used as a food. They would use the pulp from inside the, uh, the fronds of it, and as well the bulbs, they would roast it and turn it into patties. I don't know what that tastes like, but no doubt it would taste better than those uh, Beyond Meat patties that Chantel and Julie tricked me into eating that time. Ugh. A big part of what we did in Big Bend was hiking. We did three hikes. We did the hikes in the early morning as it got really hot in the afternoon in the desert. And so we kept them to around five miles or so. And um, they were really, really unique and really neat. So stay tuned and uh, have a look at the hikes.
brings us around to this episode's statistics. We've now been on the road for over 6,500 kilometers. And we've done three national parks. And we've taken a gazillion photos and pieces of video to sift through. I actually had to extend my Google storage because it's getting out of hand. Now, where are we off to next time? Next up, we do two more national parks. Craig gets to know more cats and some bats, and we go deep underground. We'll see you there. Hit like and subscribe. <laughs>